Looking for a compact gaming keyboard that doesn't skimp on performance, today we are unboxing and reviewing the UZ RT68, a budget-friendly mechanical keyboard with rapid trigger, customizable actuation and features that rival premium models. Plus, we'll explore its snap-up functionality, a game-changer for strafing in FPS games. Let's dive in. First up, let's crack open the box and see what we've got. The moment you lift the lid, you're greeted by the Yunzi RT68 keyboard itself, a sleek 68% layout that's perfect for saving desk space without sacrificing functionality. But that's not all. Underneath you will find a straightforward USB-C cable for connecting the keyboard to your PC. Nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. They've also included a handy 2-in-1 keycap and switch puller, making it super easy to mod and replace your keycaps and switches. Speaking of keycaps and switches, Yunzi throws in a set of additional key switches. These are great as spares in case any of the originals get damaged or start acting up. And to add a splash of personality, they've included a couple of fun, colorful keycaps to make your keyboard truly unique. Now let's talk about what's under the hood. The keyboard uses Otemu magnetic switches, allowing you to set the actuation point anywhere from 0.1mm to 4mm. For a keyboard at this price point, the switches are pretty solid. Sure, they could use a bit of lubing, the keystrokes can sound a bit scratchy, but that's a common trait even in more expensive rapid trigger switches. This is a gasket mounted keyboard with multiple layers contributing to its build quality. Starting from the top we've got PBT keycaps with cherry profile, followed by the plastic keyboard frame, a PC plate, gaskets and sandwich foam. Beneath that lies the switch pad, PCBA, silicone pad and finally the plastic bottom case. Overall the build quality is what you'd expect from a sub $100 product. Not premium, but it strikes a good balance between affordability and quality. While we're here here, let's do a quick sound test. The RGB backlighting is decent, offering vibrant colors and effects. However, the legends on the keycaps aren't transparent, so if you're gaming in the dark, you'll probably need some external lighting to see the keys comfortably. You can control the lighting via web app, which lets you set various active or static effects. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any built-in shortcuts to adjust the RGB settings directly from the keyboard. One of the cool features of the RT68 is its support for both Windows and Mac key layout. It offers three modes, two pre-built settings, game and comfort, and one fully customizable mode. Game mode ramps up the responsiveness, perfect for intense gaming sessions where every millisecond counts. Comfort mode dials things back a bit, making it more suitable for typing and everyday use. Switching between modes is a breeze thanks to a physical switch located on the side of the keyboard. Dynamic keystroke is a standout feature that allows you to assign multiple actions to a single key based on how deeply you press it. Essentially, the key can perform different functions depending on the actuation depth and release distance. This can be incredibly useful for gaming and productivity as it provides more functionality without increasing the number of keys. Now let's delve into SnapTap, another unique feature that the Yunzi RT68 supports. So what exactly is SnapTap? SnapTap, also known as Simultaneous Opposing Cardinal Directions, SOCD, is a feature where only the most recently pressed keystroke is registered, even if the other keys are still being held down. This is particularly beneficial in games that require quick strafing and counter strafing movements like many first person shooters. Here's how it enhances your gameplay. Counter strafing advantage. In regular keyboards, when you're moving in one direction, say holding down A key to move left and you want Want to switch directions, you need to release the A key before pressing the D key to move right. This requires precise timing and is a skill that players develop over time. With SnapTap, the keyboard registers the most recent key press, allowing you to tap the opposite direction key while still holding down the initial one. So if you're holding A and quickly tap D, the keyboard instantly recognizes the D input, enabling immediate counter strafing without the need to release A first. This effectively resets your movement and makes your aim more accurate, giving you a significant advantage. This feature reduces the learning curve for strafing and counter strafing, allowing you to execute these actions more efficiently and effectively. It essentially eliminates the need to master the precise timing previously required, which can be a game changer in competitive play. However, it is important to know that once you activate the SnapTap feature on the Yunzi RT68, it cannot be deactivated. So make sure you're comfortable 
with this functionality before enabling it. Also, remember that games like CSGO 2 have banned snapped up for being used, so tread carefully. Now on to the most critical aspect for gaming, precision and performance. When it comes to precision, the RT68 delivers. Setting the actuation point to 1mm results in accurate and consistent keystrokes without any of the weird glitches you might find in other budget rapid trigger keyboards. Speaking of rapid trigger accuracy, the keyboard lets you set the release point as low as 0.2mm, while some might find this limiting compared to other brands. In practical use, 0.2mm is more than sufficient. In fact, I'd recommend setting it a bit higher, around 0.3mm or 0.4mm, to avoid accidental key presses and typos. To put the keyboard to the test, I conducted a performance analysis using my Sony RX100 camera, recording at 1000 frames per second, paired with a 240Hz MSI 4K OLED monitor and I used Overwatch to measure response time. By signing the scope function to one of the keys and timing the unscoping animation upon release, I gathered some solid data. The latency is impressive. It matches the results I obtained with the RT75, another rapid trigger keyboard from Yunzi. The average response time clocked in at 24.5 milliseconds, with a maximum of 34 milliseconds and a minimum of 17 milliseconds. While it's not the absolute fastest on the market, the slight difference of a few milliseconds won't impact your gaming performance in any noticeable way. To tweak the advanced settings, you'll need to use the QMK web app. No software installation needed. The app is functional, but could use some polishing in terms of user interface. Nevertheless, it gets the job done. Here you can adjust rapid trigger settings, set activation levels, assign different shortcuts to keys, manage dynamic keystrokes and configure snap tap feature. So what's the verdict? The Yunzi RT68 is a great keyboard that offers great performance, nearly matching that of a higher end models. It's precise, reliable and doesn't suffer from any of the quirks that plague other budget keyboards. The inclusion of features like dynamic keystroke and snap tap adds layers of customization that are rare at this price point. While the build quality is decent, mostly plastic, that's expected for a sub $100 keyboard. Would I recommend it? Absolutely, if you're in a market for a high performing keyboard that's perfect for FPS, MOBA or any game where quick reactions and low latency are required, the Yunzi RT68 is one of the best budget-friendly options out there. Thanks for joining me in this unboxing and review. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech reviews and gaming content. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with the Yunzi RT68, drop a comment below. I'll see you in the next video.